Good morning, my fellow masterminders and everyone out on the East Coast of the United States. We are now broadcasting live from Perth, Western Australia, as I promised last week. Um, I made my way to Western Australia, I believe it was on Thursday of this week, and uh, it's 7 p.m. there, and it's a 12-hour difference. So we are at 7 a.m. Western Australia time, and the sun is about to rise here in Perth. This is Kings Park, Perth, Western Australia, and you are looking over the entire uh, city of Perth. Isn't this beautiful? And we are in the Garden of Contemplation. So I thought it was a great place to share with you um, some thoughts around possibilities. So hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my uh, Friday evening broadcast in the States. It's uh, 7 a.m. here in uh, Western Australia. And I wanted to share a little bit with you in regards to what is possibility coaching and uh, how it, it exactly changed uh, my life a few years back. So possibility coaching for me is um, a little bit of a life coaching and career coaching all at the same time. I started my fundraising career Oh, 25 years ago with uh, when I graduated with my undergraduate um, from college and decided that I wanted to become a social justice advocate and I didn't realize at the time what they failed to tell me was that I needed to raise money and so I started out by canvassing door to door and uh, I progressed uh, throughout my career and uh, increasingly took greater positions of um, development whether as director of development um, um, or advancement. As a matter of fact, I was once called Director of Mission Advancement, which I thought was a nifty title. But as my career went along, I decided at some point that I really wanted to get focused and I wanted to really live the life of my dreams. So I started to do a lot of goal setting and I met with a life coach who really, to this point, has helped to change my life. And I wrote in my journal, I set some goals, and I really thought about, you know, what exactly did I want out of my life? And I thought, you know, I want to make a salary of $120,000. I want to have a Mercedes. I want to, you know, all these pie in the sky things. And then what happened was, is because I put it all out there, they manifested. So I got my motorcycle's license. I um, I actually landed a job, and would you believe it, the salary was $120,000 exactly. And I ended up buying a Mercedes, but just recently sold it because it just was frivolous. So all of those things you know, created for me possibility. In about 2012, I decided I had a dream and I wanted to launch a consulting business. And I went through, I created a business plan and lo and behold, the business, I started it, I, I leapt, I took, um, someone said to me, if you, I'm waiting for the sunrise, yeah, that's why I keep looking over there. If you leap, the net will appear. And in fact, it did. I leapt, I, I, quit my job with just this consulting business idea with nothing else in mind, nothing else planned. And would you know that driving home one day um, from my job right before I, uh, my last day was going to happen, I got a phone call for a potential client. And that's, you know, really has manifested itself right along if I had planned for it. Um, I started life coaching fairly seriously about three years ago, and I'll never forget it. Um, Dr. Ellen, who is my life coach, um, and who is kind of the impetuous for why I do what I do with my coaching clients, um, said to me, you know, I want you to visualize what your ideal day looks like. Not just your work life, but your career, uh, your career, your personal life. What is it that you do every morning when you wake up? And so I sat down and I took out a journal and I said, hmm, what does my ideal day look like? And for me, I thought, well, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go for a run and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to eat breakfast and then I may put in about four hours worth of work and then, you know, I'm going to go play tennis in the afternoon. Well, you know, I, I envisioned myself as living in Southern California, and I don't know, this is, you know, this is about as close to Southern California as it can get, right? I mean, probably for those of us who've been to Australia, 
probably even better than Southern California, right? It's just absolutely breathtaking. And uh, here I am, I manifested myself into, <laughs> into coming to Australia and uh, working probably, you know, probably more than four hours a day, I have to say, and probably in the middle of the night in most cases, but most of the day is my own once I finish work say at 9 a.m. and then I go for my, you know, go for coffee with friends and and then travel to lovely places like this and then, you know, and then the rest of the afternoon I go to what they call here is leisure centers. We would call them, you know, gyms and pools, but um, I go swimming and then, and then I run home. So, you know, I now work with clients, not around fundraising coaching, although I do do that, but what I help them to really think about is where do they want to be in their careers? You know, what does their ideal day look like? You know, are they sitting in an office? Are they sitting, you know, for eight hours a day? Uh, are they working four hours a day? Do they have children that they want to spend time with? What does their ideal day look like and how do we, how do we get them there? So a lot of my coaching is really about accountability. It's not about strategy. It's about living the best life possible um, within your career, finding the best career for you. I do webinars for Charity How To, and one of them is, number one, how to have a, a good start on your first 90 days, and then the other is how to advance in your fundraising career. So what is that next stage for you? What do you want your work life to look like? and your personal life and how do the two fit together and then how do you go about taking the steps to design that. So that for me is a lot around possibility coaching. Some other folks call it different things but for me it really is about living into your possibility. We do not have to stick with the jobs. For far too long I had jobs that I had bad bosses, I worked um, constantly all the time I was in tears when I would leave home leave to go home and you know I realized that wasn't the kind of life that I didn't I just didn't want to live and so when I work with my clients around possibilities it's about thinking beyond that it's about finding you know what that ideal day looks like um, whether or not they want to continue in their current position advance to a higher position and or perhaps even start their own business and how do they do that and transition from being a nonprofit you know a practitioner to someone that runs a business so that's a little bit about my story you know it's kind of odd some days I sit here and I say you know I really manifested where I am at the moment you know with this this beautiful and I'll show you because the Sun is coming the Sun is coming up here you know I manifested sitting here and traveling throughout Australia and just meeting just these lovely people only because I envisioned what could have been possible in my life. I envisioned it. I set goals around it. I took next steps around what I thought was possible. And here I am living that possibility that I once thought was just a, a vision, you know, which is quite incredible. Dr. Ellen says to me, you know, we still, I still do life coaching. How can I coach others if I don't myself um, have life coaching um, still and uh, she says to me you may not be in Southern California, but uh, but look at where where you are So if anyone is considering, you know, what is that next step for your life? Or how do I in fact live the life both professionally and? Um, personally of my dreams then my coaching services are a little bit different than the fundraising strategy It's really about becoming the best professional professional and the best uh, the best person so if there's anyone out there that's struggling right now I suggest that you take out your journal and you spend some time this afternoon just asking yourself the question of where do I envision my life being in five years from now what does my ideal day look like does it look like this sitting here on a Saturday morning watching the sunrise over beautiful Perth. Um, what does it look like? What time do you wake up? What do you do? Um, how, how, where do you work? How long do you work? 
Uh, what do you do after work? What is your work-life balance like? Um, and I urge you to put that down on paper because once you put that down on paper, it begins to manifest itself. So that's how I work with my clients around coaching. We visualize that ideal life. We set some goals. Um, and then we explore options and the steps to getting there. And then we hold each other, well, we, I hold them accountable to what those steps may be. So that's a little bit about possibility coaching because you see the, and I'm, uh, you see the, I'm trying to identify this bird. I think that's a magpie, correct? For those of you that know, I believe so. So for those of you, and here comes another one. I mean, how awesome is this, right? So for those of you who are thinking about kind of there, you know, you feel like you're in the same old, same old with your career, you know, or your personal life, or you're just wondering what is next. Um, that's what my possibility coaching is about, which is a little bit different than other fundraising coaching. So take a look at my website, look at the packages of services that I have available, um, and just let me know if it's something that interests you. And uh, don't forget, I have a webinar coming up. It was a highly popular webinar. Uh, I did it for, um, it was Donor Search a f uh, about a week ago, and it's about jumpstarting your fundraising. So planning, um, getting your plan together for your calendar year-end fundraising efforts now before you leave for the summer so that when you come back in September, you have a plan in place ready to implement that includes key metrics and benchmarks that you need to be looking, need to be strategizing around and analyzing um, your calendar year effort, efforts around. And uh, for those of you who have taken, um, who have taken me up on my product review offer of the Engage Board of Directors template packet. Be curious to uh, get your feedback. Um, oh, that's right. Oh, Bianca, how are you? Hello. Beautiful spot with some great advice. And that is the magpie. That's the magpie. I think the magpie is, is hiding here in the, in the little, in the, uh, gee, these marigolds, I believe. So yes, uh, check out that webinar. And those of you who took, uh, took me up on that offer for the, um, the board development packet. Love, love, love to get your reviews before we actually do a product launch on that. And then I'm also creating some templates for um, an annual fund. So be sure to, that should be ready for the fall. Um, so you'll have samples and templates and worksheets to use to help you jumpstart your calendar year end uh, fundraising efforts. So I hope everyone has a great rest of your uh, Friday evening. And I am headed into, well, Bianca's headed into her Saturday as well, probably, well, a little bit sooner than I am. Um, but as you can see, there is that glorious sun just coming across the horizon. Um, next week, I will be back in, uh, it seems so boring because every week I've been in a different place, but I'll be back in Aladella, Molly Mook, and uh, be broadcasting live on a fundraising strategy topic uh, that I will announce later on this week. So have a great uh, rest of your evening, everyone, and a great day to Bianca, and uh, see you.